Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in Dungeon Escape. Now this is another fun little platformer developed by Roenko Games, also developed and published by East Asia Soft. So as with many platformers by this excellent publisher, it's the same sort of style where we have to get a key, unlock the door and proceed to the next level or by trying to avoid sores, enemies and other crap that wants to kill us dead. But if you do die, you have to restart the level, although, you know, the level's very short, which is always nice. Uh, controls are simple as well. Left stick to move, A to jump once, A twice to double jump, and that's about it. <laughs> as for achievements, though, it's another simple one. We need to basically die up to 100 times for three achievements, collect up to 50 coins for another three achievements, defeat 50 enemies for another 3 achievements, and beat levels up to level 19, so completing 18, and that's for another 4 achievements. And that's it. <laughs> it. And to be honest, it only really gets slightly tricky from levels sort of 13 to 18. Again, it, it's not tricky, but it may give you a slightly inconvenienced headache, but otherwise it will be another simple 1000 out of 1000. So, with that being said then, let us begin. So, press play, we go on to level select, and we are a little green guy who seems to be drawing his goddamn head off. Maybe he took a little pill, or that magic mushroom by the door there. And that is it. So, all we have to do then is grab the key and then unlock the door. So, you, as you can see, you, could, you jump on uh, enemies' heads to kill them. Now, with the coins and the enemies, they you, you can literally die and just keep collecting the same coins over and over, keep killing the same enemies over and over if you wanted to do that, but there are more than enough enemies and more than enough coins in the game uh, to be able to just run on through and get it naturally anyway. So as I said, it's um, d uh, to double jump, press A twice, and that just makes life a hell of a lot easier. Obviously try to avoid the spikes, uh, try to avoid the enemies, try to avoid anything that can try and kill you. And, you know, that's that's about it. It's it's quite nice. It's it definitely another fun little platformer. I did enjoy this. So, again, make sure, you know, to kill this guy dead. Yeah, so anything can literally just one hit you. I think the only reason they put mushrooms in this game, that's the reason why our little green buddy is drawing so much here. Maybe he's in the real world and he thinks that everything's chasing him. Who knows? So, yeah. There we go, so we should get achievements really flying at us quite quickly. Uh, just make sure to kill all the enemies dead right here. We get one for beating level 3. This one is a very simple one, just try not to double jump into the saws above. And yeah, we should get plenty of achievements. So jump up if you can to grab the coins, which I can't, which makes it all the more stupid of me. <laughs> um, as you can see, I mean, like I said... It's always worth going for the coins if you want, but like I said, that literally there are a lot of coins and a lot of enemies to kill, so it's always worth just picking them up on your way um, as you go to the path there, um, rather than going out of your way and potentially dying. It just makes it a little, that little bit more annoying. So wait until the saw goes to the left, straight to the right, and then jump up, and there we go. So on to the next level, as you can see, the key is on the left-hand side, left upper corner. So you've got to be quite careful with the timing of your jumps as well. So uh, let yourself sort of drop down a little bit and then jump up sometimes. That is uh, what we'll have to do a couple of times as well. So as you can see, then we're already on to level 7 and we're not even 5 minutes in the video yet. So jump to the left again, grab the coins if you so choose to do so. But what I'll be doing is basically just going straight for the key and then... If the, uh, if the coins are there on the way, then job's done. So again, the spikes can be just son of a biatches. And, yeah. Cheesy, easy, lemon McSqueezy. On to level 8. You see the key there just down in the right-hand corner. We get another achievement. So sometimes it may take a little bit of a while to get used to having to drop down and then pressing the A button to, uh, to jump. Um, but it shouldn't really take too long, especially if you've been used to these kind of platforms before. Um, and it is just a case of being careful, uh, timing your jumps, and yeah, there should, there's not really a lot more to say. So I will rejoin you when we get to a couple of the more trickier levels.
Okay, so you see where the door is? The locked door that we need to get through? Well, there are spikes on top of that which actually fall down. So, you can see the white ones, the white spikes, they will always stay there. But the ones that are a little bit greyer, they're the ones that will fall down as soon as you exit it. Which caught me out the first time. So, that's why I just dropped them spikes down so we've got nothing to worry about there. But, make sure if you ever see any grey spikes on the ceiling, quickly um, get in and then go back out just so you can dodge them. You alright, honeys? You alright? And we've got a new thing to contend with now. We've got those things. we got shooting ball sacks and, I don't know, kind of fridge, weird-looking cigarette fridge enemies or something. The fridge enemies are fine. And, again, it's just a bit of timing just to dodge the bullets at the top there. Right, oh, so this is where things start to get a little bit uh, trickier in terms of how tight things are. Um, again, so don't panic, don't rush, literally just go ahead, take your time, um, you know, and obviously try to jump, uh, time your jumps perfect as well. Obviously watch out for the spinning saw, and there is another set of grey spikes just by the door there, so when you kill this enemy, just make sure to uh, quickly nip in and then nip back out or just go straight through the door. Uh, level 13, this one uh, literally isn't too bad. This is a little bit easier, which uh, takes the heat off a little bit, which is nice. So this one may take just a few tries, so just get the timing right at the top one first. And as you can see where the key is, again, it's literally just all about timing. Uh, it took me a couple of tries, so uh, don't panic yourself. Just make sure to get I almost got killed there. Again, do the timing on the left-hand side door, and then as soon as we start level 15, immediately go to the left. As soon as it kills the enemy, jump up through the gap and go to the right. So that one, again, caught me out a couple of times. Uh, there was grey spikes on up on the ceiling as well, so we've only got a couple of levels left, but it starts getting a bit hectic now. So again, just um, get your timing down, as soon as the saw starts moving to the right, just jump up, and you should have enough time then to jump up to the left. Make sure not to die by one of these enemies, uh, because you can easily just spike your ass off. And that's it, now we've only got a couple <laughs> of levels left, so this one nearly isn't as hectic as the last level was just there so again take your time and just enjoy ish kill these sort of um i don't know what are they supposed to be fridges or cigarette machines i don't know busy no So the timing can be a little tricky getting this last fridge, just wait until he jumps to the right, job done. Now as soon as we start level 17, immediately move to the left and jump up on this box and push it um, push it to the right. Again, it just takes, it's just a few seconds if you do end up dying, but that's what you've got to do to kill that mofo. So jump on these two enemies right here again, just a little bit of timing's needed. This is the one level that really did take me a while for some reason. And it's all to do, wait for the saws, uh, he almost fudged up, but it's all to do with just the uh, jumping down and the jumping up. Uh, right there, the, the time on that, you can easily accidentally double jump and kill yourself, which is a pain in the ball sacks. Again, just wait for the saw to go to the right, and then you should just have enough time there. Now, this one, again, it, the last level, this is the last level. Yeah! But it does look tricky, again, as long as you've got your sort of jump in, your timing uh, when you go down and jump up, as long as you've got that right, it should be fine. As we can see, the key is now on the bottom left-hand corner. Kill the cigarette machine slash fridge slash whatever that is. And then, literally, the only part of this now is 
Uh, making sure you don't die by the sword. Sores. So again, it's a just jump up and then straight through the middle. Job is done. Drama! What an easy game! But what we're going to do now, of course, you might have died up to 100 times by now. If you haven't, of course, that's fine. We've literally got an enemy and a bunch of spikes we can literally just keep running into for now. So that would be dying two for me, dying 50 times. God, if only it was like that in real life, we could just come back. Hmm, interesting. I'll get a scientist on that, I know. Dr. Hunter. Anyway, that's all you got to do then to finish the game is just run into the spikes until the achievement unlocks and there we go. So, that is that then guys and gals. That should be another easy 1000 under 1000. So thank you so, so much for watching. If this video did help, don't forget of course to like, comment, uh, subscribe and share with a friend if you did think it was helpful as well. Don't forget to check me out on all my socials. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and Patreon as well. Much appreciated if you could take a look at all of those because I am... Um, Slightly hilarious sometimes. Um, and a big shout out, by the way, to everyone on Patreon for the continued support. And thank you so much for everyone who continues to support the channel. But, again, that is that then, guys and gals. I shall see you in the next one. Big love. And I love how he's still chewing and enjoying absolutely nothing. He is on the massive trip, bud. Anyway, big love, baby.